What up? Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, everybody? Today is Monday. February 11th, 2019. That's right. Today is Monday, February 11th, 2019. And what's crazy and what's super important that we focus on first thing this morning is that today is the first and the last time that it'll ever be. The first and the last time that it'll ever be. Monday, February 11th, 2019. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most of this absolutely incredible incredible day man i don't know about you but i had an amazing weekend i had an amazing weekend i went from new york thursday or wednesday thursday friday to an absolute jam-packed full weekend with the kiddos uh this weekend it was just it was action-packed it was purposeful it was awesome we had uh joel had basketball which my dude joel Tore it up this weekend. He had only scored, I think, three points all season. But this weekend, he had seven points between two games. He also had a couple blocks. He had a couple steals. He was playing tenacious defense. And it got him elected. Dun, da, da, da. I like to make an announcement. It got him elected onto the all-star squad. My little dude. Shortest guy on the court. But he got elected and picked to be on the all-star squad so he'll be playing with the all-stars the weekend of february 22nd i believe is when he has an all-star weekend and as parents i just couldn't be oh my gosh are we still having signal issues that was weird he um he just the, the 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 dude just works hard plain and simple he just works hard he he has huge heart and he works hard and he practices at whatever it is that he wants to accomplish and he works hard, and so I'm really proud of him, and I'm really happy. I'm really happy uh, that he made the team. But we had we had basketball, uh, we had recitals. My daughter had her dance recital, and she just absolutely crushed it up there. She was built for dance. She's long, she's lean, and she studies her craft relentlessly. And it's just so powerful. She commands the stage when she goes up there. You can tell that she was built for dance. And so we got to do the recital. The whole family got to watch her dance. And it was incredible. Uh, we also had a couple like family dinners, which normally we don't, we're not able to get everybody together because we have such a big family. But we did some family dinners. We had a family dinner out at the Bourbon Barrel here in Paris, Kentucky, Saturday night. And that was awesome. We ended up breaking out into a Lundy dance party right there in the restaurant. So we turned up the the, the DJ or the, uh, you know, the whatever machine, plugged in a few quarters. And next thing you know, the entire Lundy family is out dancing in the middle of this restaurant. And it was so, just so, such a blessed moment and absolutely awesome. Um, Then we also had an amazing dinner. I mean, Golly, I didn't even know this restaurant existed, but we had an amazing dinner in Mount Sterling at a steakhouse last night. It was just awesome. And then, of course, we had uh, church yesterday, and the church service was just spot on, man. My man, Scott Nickel, uh, was just diving into, like, how important our temple is and our, uh, you know, our spiritual requirements to take care of our bodies and why that is important. So he gave some people some hard hit lessons, punched a few people in the in the mouth on uh, some things on nutrition and the way we take care of our bodies. So I had an action packed, really purposeful, really full weekend, including some really great news um, about Joel making the All Star team. I hope your weekend went as well. But my question for you this morning. As I as I break the, as I go over some of those things for you or with you guys, my question for you this morning is like, why does this these things with the kids? Why do they excite us so much? You know, why does my six year old making the All Star team excite me so much? Why does Savannah 
just being an absolute powerhouse on the stage. Like, why does that excite me so much? And, of course, I always just naturally, it's my gift. I look at every single situation and I try to figure out, like, what can I learn from it and what can I teach from it? That's what I'm always looking at. What can I learn? What can I teach? And so this 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 weekend, I learned a huge lesson about untapped potential. And that's what I want to share with you. Morning. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get our dance on this morning. Listen, man, this is a part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button because I believe if we could change the way people start their day, we can make a massive impact on this planet. I truly believe that. And sometimes all it takes to change the way somebody starts their day is for you to hit that share button. Sometimes that's all it takes. This is also the part of the show where I want you to say good morning to me and I'm going to say good morning to you. Whether you're watching on replay or you're watching live. If you're watching on replay, hit the share button now. If you're watching live, go ahead and hit the share button now and say good morning to me. Either way. Good morning, Kelly Taylor. What's up, Sandra Benstock? Delolio. Good morning, CC Coates. Good morning, Jessica Terrell and Lindsay I. What's up, Don Sankey? Gail B. Crafts in here this morning. Good morning, Tabby Negret and Susan Rose. Mr. CJ Craig Miles and my man Aaron Jones. What's up, Scott Simons? What's up, Mike Bright? Mike Brockway? Good morning, Josh Wilson and Eddie Gilbert, BG Campbell, Janelle Griego. I think I already said that. What's up, Robbie Bollinger? Right, Grand Con. You got to be there, man. Why is my signal freezing? I'm going to keep going because I know it won't be frozen for the people that are watching later. It just froze up on my people that are watching live. I don't know what's happening, man. I wonder if... Um, I just don't know what's happening. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm running into signal issues on the exact same connections that I've always had. But anyways, okay, so we're back to the green. We're back to full connection. Signal is a bit weird today. And Janelle said she keeps getting kicked out. Yeah, I don't know. On the On the replay, it'll be perfect. It's just on live. We're having a little bit of troll this morning so i gotta figure that out though because that started on friday i think it was that started i know aaron added a new cable like a hardline cable but it's not plugged into anything so i don't know why that would take away from my feed but anyways there's over 100 people up in here this morning so i need to worry about what matters which is this incredible incredible show i love thank you guys so much for being here for joining me in the mornings it's been powerful man i don't know if you uh if you got yourself a planner, but you need to you need to be using your planner, man. I am, therefore it is, is what it says there at the top, which just takes me back to Eric Thomas uh, at uh, Hustle and Grind Con, man. Eric Thomas was at Hustle and Grind Con with us last year. He's going to be there with us again this year. And, man, it just takes me back because, you know, Eric was standing up there on the stage, and he was, like, cheering, and he was getting everybody jacked up, and he was like, I am, therefore it is. I am, therefore it is. And I just remember how, like, what a just incredible experience it was at Hustle and Grind Con last year. Are, are in last October and so I am so excited and jacked up that that's coming back again now coming up April 4th and 5th we're having another Hustle and Grind Con Eric Thomas will be there again coach uh, Mike Burt is going to be speaking there which is awesome uh, we've got some speakers that we're bringing back like Shaka Dyson Jonathan Dawson just some incredible speakers I'm going to be speaking there again which I'm excited about I'm going to be sharing some stories that I've never shared before um, so I'm super excited about that. But just overall, the experience at Hustle and Grind Con is just truly, truly, truly special. And I want to make sure you guys don't miss out. So make sure you go today, later today, go to hustlegrind.net or hustlegrind.com. Make sure you get your tickets for what is going to be an absolutely, absolutely incredible event that you will never, ever, 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 ever forget. I promise. 
you will never ever forget it it's absolutely phenomenal you have to go okay cool um also want to let you guys know app is coming out february 14th be ready for that and the last day for shirts for the mcleans if you're wanting to support the mcleans you haven't got a shirt yet you've got until february 14th and then we're going to pull those down off the website overall uh we've raised like 17 or eighteen thousand dollars helped raise seventeen or eighteen thousand dollars for the mcleans which is just incredible you guys are awesome human beings listen I was on a plane this past weekend, and as I was on the plane, there was this little girl, and she was just running, like, everybody had kind of boarded, we were waiting to take off, and there was this little girl, she was probably, uh, I'm going to say five years old, she was probably five years old, and she was just running back and forth up, to, up and down the aisle of the plane, right? Just running back and forth, all the way down, all the way back up, laughing all the way, all the way down, all the way back up, laughing all the way. And so she was just running back and forth. And I was like, everybody was just awesome, right? Like you could see everybody smiling at the little girl, laughing with the little girl. Like everybody just thought it was the cutest thing that this little girl was running back and forth on the plane. And she ran in and she like said hi to the pilot and then turned around and ran the other way. It was just a really, really cute situation. And I just thought, All right, man, it's freezing up on me again. I reset the modem this morning and everything. I really don't understand. And now it's back. It's like going through these waves where I have terrible signal and then it goes back to okay signal and then it goes to strong and then it goes back down. Like it's just going through these waves. I don't understand. So this kid's running back and forth on the plane and everybody f thinks it's absolutely adorable. Right? Everybody thinks it's absolutely adorable. And then I had another experience. My kids, we were all at the uh, the basketball game yesterday. And my kids are like, you know, Willow is holding Meredith by her feet and then dragging her across the floor where Meredith's chest is like sweeping the gymnasium floor with their chest. But the kids are just rolling all over the floor. They're dragging each other all over the floor. They're running up and down the, the bleachers. They're like just doing all of this, all of this stuff, right? All this crazy stuff. They're just being crazy kids. But everybody's looking and everybody thinks they're cute and everybody's smiling and everybody's laughing. And so I got to thinking like, imagine if a... You guys don't have to worry. You're not missing anything because I can see in my software. I can see in my software when I'm losing signal. It's literally going in these waves. And so you're not missing anything when it freezes up. I'm just going to stop. And then when it gets unfroze, I'll keep going because we have a message that we need to deliver because I want you guys to be able to tap into your untapped potential. And so I don't, I don't know what's happening, but we're going to continue. So as I said, everybody's watching, you know, my kids being crazy. And I got to thinking like, what if adults did this? What if adults did uh, you know, what if adults did the same things these kids are doing? What if you saw an adult running up and down the aisles of the plane? What would you do? You'd like freak out, right? Like you'd panic. Like you'd think we were under attack or something, right? And what if you saw one adult grabbing another adult by the feet and dragging him and literally like mopping the floor with his chest? What would you think about that? Right? Like you'd be in a panic. Like you'd think something, you'd think, you know, something was going on. Like something is wrong. Like it would be, it'd be a fearful situation. But with kids, we, we look at them with so much joy and we smile. We see them doing these, all of these different things in their pure innocence. And we love it, right? We love it. I know I love it. And so uh, the question that I asked was, why do we love kids like so much why do why do here at my house you know Meredith all the time Meredith will tell me that she doesn't like me that she doesn't love me um you know I'll uh I'll I'll go to do something and she'll she'll just be like 
Why, what did she say to me? She said something to me last night. Like, I don't want you to do it because I don't like... If you do it, I don't like it because I don't like you. Like, that's just Meredith. She tells me every single day that she doesn't like me. And so we've got... We put up with the I don't like yous. Uh, we change crappy diapers. Like, I can't even tell you how many poopy diapers. Think about it, me and with, you know, seven kids. Think about how many poopy diapers we've changed in this house we still have one two we have three kids in diapers right now so imagine you know we change all the crappy diapers we put up with the crappy attitudes uh we deal with the screaming uh, the kids that won't sleep all the fighting all of the tears like we put up with all that we deal with all that and my question is why like why why do we put ourselves through that torture right a lot of it is torture. Of course, there's the blessings in between. But why? And, and let's dig deep. Like, why do we really do that? And see, I believe, I believe that we do that. I believe that as human beings, it's not just a survival thing. I don't think it's just because it's our child or, or you know, because we want to better the next generation. I don't believe that. I believe it's because children have so much untapped potential and i think we see it and i think we long for it i do i think we see it and i think we long for it like i think we look at at, at a kid like this and we think man you know this this kid right here this kid could be the president this kid could be the president of the united states one day or we might look and we might say man this kid this kid right here might be the one who cures cancer this kid right here potentially could cure cancer, a disease that riddles all of us in this country every single day, every single day. So one of us is affected by cancer so in some way, somehow, whether it's an immediate family member or a friend, we've all been affected by cancer. And who knows, maybe this is the kid that will come up with the cure for that. Maybe one day, one of these kids will go pro. Might be a pro ball player, might be the next Michael Jordan, might be the next Kobe Bryant, might be the next electrifying football player. We never know. This kid right here, this kid right here might go out there and completely change the world as we know it. She might write a piece or, or a, a, a work. Or we look at this kid and we think, man, this kid could be the GOAT, right? Lisa Copeland doesn't know what the GOAT is. This kid could be... Okay, yeah, I'm just pausing every time it, the signal goes out. This kid could be the greatest of all time, right? She could possibly be the greatest of all time. She could be the GOAT. We don't know. She has so much untapped potential. We look at this kid and we think, man, this could, kid could absolutely revolutionize the industry. Absolutely revolutionize any and all industry. Could revolutionize the auto industry or maybe some other industry. We just look and we don't know. It's untapped potential. We look at this kid and we think maybe this kid could rid the planet of homelessness. That kid right there laying on my wife's chest might one day rid the planet of homelessness. Might rid the planet of hunger. Of starvation. See, I believe the reason we all say, ah, and we put up with all of the things from the kids is because children have so much untapped potential. And we... We want to encourage them. We want to support them. We want to lift them up. We love them. And so what I want to say to you today is what if I were to tell you today that you're just like that kid? You are just like that kid. What if I told you that your age doesn't matter? You still have the exact same amount of untapped potential. I want you to know this morning 
And I think that's why the enemy is attacking this message is because I want you to know this morning that you can still be the president of the United States. You know that? You still can. Doesn't matter where you came from. We live in one of the greatest countries in the world where where you were born and the circumstances you were born in do not determine where you end up. You could still be the president of the United States. You could still cure cancer. You could be the one that comes up with the cure of one of the most deadly diseases in the history. You can still go down as the goat, the greatest of all time. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter your circumstances. It doesn't matter where you came from. You still have that exact same untapped potential that our children have. Signal pops back in. There we go. Yeah, the signal just keeps going in and out on this like roller coaster. So every time it's losing signal, I'm just stopping. Just so you guys know, I'm just stopping. You're not missing anything. So don't bounce out of here and it'll be fine on the replay. But that's what's happening. I want to show you some pictures. So this is Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart wrote her first book at 41 years old. She became famous about seven years later is when she became wildly famous at 48 is when she really started her career now she did have a little period of time in jail after that we're not going to really get into that but she became a worldwide phenomenon at 48 years old charles darwin the guy who wrote the theory of evolution whether you believe in the theory of evolution or not charles darwin wrote the theory of evolution at 50 years old that's when he wrote this book so he first stepped into being a known, like a, a well-known human being on this planet at 50. And he wrote a book that we still talk about today. That in a lot of ways made an absolute massive impact on this planet. He did that at 50 years old. This guy you guys all know. This guy is Samuel Jackson. Mr. Samuel Jackson was 46 years old when he first really became discovered as a, as, a, as a headline actor in the movie Pulp Fiction. He was 46 years old before he really got his shot. Now he's one of the most well-known and highest paid actors in the history of all time. This guy right here, his name's Sam Walton. And in this picture, he particularly happens to be just a floating head. But Sam Walton opened Walmart at 42. He opened Walmart, his first Walmart store, at 42 years old. Before that, he had a small chain, a couple little small stores. But he opened the first Walmart at 42. Now he's one of the richest people in the world. And I share these things with you because I know that sometimes we allow our age to get in the way. We think because we're older that we don't, st that we don't have the same abilities and capabilities that we used to. It's like, <laughs> and though some of that may be true on a physical level, we might have start to have some physical limitations as we get older. Just because we have some physical limitations doesn't mean that our potential for what we can do and the impact that we can make on this planet is any less. You have so much potential still inside of you. So much potential still inside of you. And so I need you today, I want you to rid yourself of the negative talk. I want, to, I want you to quit telling yourself that you can't or that you've missed your Self-talk. You have to absolutely quit. I want you to remind yourself of one. <laughs> I 
And I want you to remind yourself of one God's honest truth. Listen, friends, you are a child of God, uniquely made by the God of the universe to be the absolute best version of you that you can possibly be. And you're not there yet. You're still here. You still exist. You're still above ground. And if you're here, then I'm telling you, God still has so much purpose for you. When you've reached the peak, the pinnacle, where you've reached the absolute, you've, you've untapped all of your potential, they call that death. They call that death. That's what, that's, that'll be the day that he'll come down and he'll invite you into the kingdom. Until then, as long as you're here, you have so much untapped potential. I want you to dig into that. Because, see, you are uniquely made by the God of the universe, the God who made everything. He made you uniquely. No one else can do what you do the way that you do it. No one. No one else can impact the planet the way that you impact the planet. So I need you to take that seriously. I need you to take on the responsibility that comes with that. You see, right now you're already making good decisions. You're watching hashtag rise and grind. You're getting up early. You're doing all of these things. And those decisions that you're making, I want you to know, they're making an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your coworkers. They're making an impact on everyone around you. They've made a massive impact on me. And I, for one, absolutely love you for it. I do. I absolutely stink and love you. If nobody's told you that yet today, I want to be the first. So go out there and, 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 and look yourself in the mirror and just realize and know that you're not done yet. I don't care how old you are. You are not done yet. Your, your life and your impact that you make on this planet is, is not determined by your age. It's not determined by your circumstances. It's not determined by where you came from. It's all about what you decide you're going to go out there and put into it. It's all about the limitations that you've got right here. I want you to rid yourself of those today because you are a powerful, powerful human being. And I'm so thankful to know you, to be connected with you, to be able to share my mornings with you, share my days with you, share my stories with you. It's amazing. It's amazing what you've done in my life. I want to do more of that at Hustle and Grind Con. So I need you there. April 4th and 5th, I know I'm hammering you guys, but I'm telling you, I need you there. Carissa, Jones, I need you there. I need you there. We can breathe more of this into, into you, and, I, and, and, and you're just going to make a massive impact on this planet. You already are, but Hustle and Grind Con is going to take you to another level. So I need you at Hustle and Grind Con. Go get your tickets right now. HustleGrind.net. Go get your tickets. Tomorrow, I'm going to give the speech on my show that I gave this weekend. Okay, so I gave a speech uh, Thursday night in New York. Tomorrow, I'm going to give that speech right here on this show for you guys live. So make sure you tune in again tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. I'm going to continue to... I don't, I don't really know what's going on with the signal thing. Maybe it's just because of the weather. I don't know. But I'm going to continue to work on that to deliver you guys the most powerful and best possible shows that I can continue to uh, deliver. So make sure you come back tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. If you need more videos, go to glennlundy.com. If you need some Rise and Grind gear, go to glennlundy.com. But most importantly, just go out there and have an amazing day today. Have an amazing day today. Ugh, I stink and love you guys. It's going to be an awesome Monday. All right, take care. I'll see you guys on the flip. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, it is what I want. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Stay well, stay well, stay well, stay well. Hashtag rise and grind, hashtag rise and grind. First thing on my mind, early in the morning time. Daily motivation, feeling so divine.
Hashtag blessed, write my mission, vision, values, and my gratitude list. I'm building up momentum, I'm making good decisions. I rise, I grind, I get it. Ain't no doubt that I'm committed. Cause who really loses if I don't win? Can't cheat to grind, only get what you put in. So I'm mastering my mental. I'm focused on my physical. I'm developing spiritually and manifesting miracles. I'm gonna get it started, have a party in the morning. And I'm gonna wake the world, it's so alarm. And I have that rising grind. Hashtag rising grind. First thing on my mind, early in the morning time. Daily motivation.